Hey everybody, this is going to be my uh, update here on painting this uh, Cleopatra figure from the Slug Zombies line uh, from Series 2. And I'll uh, check out the link below for the, the review I did of the, the figures. And um, I'm going to talk about this one and kind of what I've painted on this one so far. Um, if you guys have watched the last one about the uh, firefighter, I, I think I'm doing a lot better job on this one. Getting back in the swing of things, remembering what I, what I used to know, and... Uh, I don't have every single. I, I really. I'll do a video about what I what supplies I have, so you can see. Um, that's kind of fun challenge. Just work with what you have. And uh, the little bio on this guy says, uh, "Previous job was Queen of Egypt." Uh, it's a little hard to read here. It says likes cruising the mile and style, or cruising the Nile and style. Uh, dislikes. Being told what to do by her mummy. <laughs> That's bad. Her favorite food is Caesar salad. So there's that one. And uh, I like this figure the best out of the three pack I've done so far. Um, here's the back of it. I didn't, didn't show that. Um, oops. A little hard to zoom in here, but... Uh, we can look at it there. Not much on the back. Kind of looks like an egg almost. Uh, so I thought this one would turn out really nice. Uh, a lot of detail in this one. Uh, I'm most excited to paint this one out, out of all of them. So uh, the first step here is what I. Here's what I got so far. Um, the first step here, and I I decided that. It looked more like stone than, than it would be kind of cast in gold or something. And I didn't necessarily say that it's supposed to be Cleopatra. I just say it's kind of like a a mummy there. And uh, like before on the on the axe on the firefighter, uh, had this cool crackle effect happen here. Uh, and that's really nice looking. Um, I just did kind of a white. Uh, I, I primed it in white. And then I did a, a washed out uh, tan. So all the shading there you see is just from, from that. So pretty simple. And every once in a while the, a little bit of the green would come through. Uh, I didn't I I kind of dusted it with primer. I didn't really spray it that heavy because I didn't know if it would cover up all these uh, details or not. And yeah, it's pretty much just all all brown there. Just kind of it's a good first step for me to just make uh, the different colors stick out, um, or all the panel lines. I mean, and kind of piece it together, I guess. Uh, so the next step here is what I got. I think this is the yeah, this is the the last update I have on it. So um, I decided to paint this part here. Uh, a darker color to make it stick out towards the lens more. I'll probably make this a little. Um, I still don't make it shiny, but uh, I can do all that later. I, I think I'm gonna make this um, darker, darker brown there. And uh, you know, I, I think I might add some, uh, maybe some blood coming out of the cracks there. It might be kind of a cool. Cool thing. I, I, I left the uh, natural cracks there I got. Um, this kind of looks like mud too, so I might have like uh, mud splash up on it like it, it's been under uh, the rain or something. And uh, I painted the, just to start, I painted the fingernails there black. I think that's kind of interesting. Um... Yeah, I added some kind of like a gray wash to her skin there. Kind of haven't decided if I wanted to make it... Like, that looks really nice there on her arm that's sticking up. Um, so picture-wise, it looks nice. And that's what I kind of go for. Um, trick it <laughs> for the camera, as I say. And... Um, but, but if I look at the figure just alone in like kind of regular light, it's like... It needs a lot of work still. Um, some kind of tough color choices on this one because I knew that this whole casing would be 
or was going to be kind of brownish and stuff. And I didn't want to go like fantasy and make it purple. And, you know, I kind of wanted like a, this one to be a realistic looking one. Um, I really like the face. I got a, I painted the eyes black, but uh, I think I might make those like red or something. Um, or maybe, maybe green. I don't know. I have to try around with that. What you can do on the computer is if you can just kind of, uh, get the airbrush there. And if you have a Photoshop or something, then you can test out different colors. And if you know what you're doing, you can kind of get some good ideas that way too. She has little beads on her hair that, um, I think I'm going to paint yellow. I was going to paint them gold, but I don't really want much gold on here. I put silver on her necklace and her bracelets. Those, those stick out really nice. Um, some other ideas I had maybe put in like... Uh, I don't know. Maybe some graffiti or something. Not, or maybe like... Uh, maybe like one of the hunters marked it for like destruction or something put like an X on it or something and um don't know I, maybe like a little base for this maybe just like a a broken brick wall I think might be cool like big bricks you know but uh that's all I got for this one this one is it's kind of I don't know I guess kind of feel the colors out and see what will work it looks a big difference from that one, obviously. Um, so that's what I got. It's, it's really fun. I I like lighting it like this. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, check back later. And uh, thanks for watching.